isn't it important to get the best talent? And it doesn't matter what shape, color, size, form it comes in, right? So if we truly believe that an inclusive workplace has every type of person, why wouldn't we want to hire people who have disabilities? I started brewing beer in my garage and I have never owned a business before. So I was very, very naive. When we opened the bar, we were not prioritizing hiring people with disabilities at all. I, as a new business owner, didn't want to take risk with employees with disabilities because I didn't know how to create an inclusive environment. People are afraid of hiring people with disabilities because of the fear of the unknown. They think cost, they think change, they think how will it impact the other workers. Instead of thinking, how can we make it a better place for people to come visit and stay? Having been a business owner myself, I recognize how business can look at myself as a person with a disability and either see a risk to be mitigated or a drain on the bottom line. And what I would say to all hiring managers is, there is no risk from having me in your workplace. Companies that have an inclusive workplace of people with disabilities see upwards of a 28% both in their profitability and their income for their companies productivity numbers in the United States are going down. It's going down because we don't have the bodies in the seats to be more productive. And we're not leveraging the minds that are available that can help us be more productive. The unemployment rate of people with disabilities has remained persistently 70%. If we have an opportunity to change this, let's go for it. My perspective changed through the education I got from the Department of Rehabilitation. The first thing they said was that a disability doesn't mean that we don't have an ability. And that just clicked. I was diagnosed with ADHD around two years ago, so it's kind of been a hidden thing for me, and it was a constant struggle of not understanding why my thinking process was different. Knowing that my employer has the patience to give me a moment to finalize my thought process. There's a lot of confidence that comes with that and having that trust in your employer. I know that we made mistakes in how we handle hiring people with disabilities when we first opened. So it would have been a tremendous help for us to have a course to show us what are the best practices in creating job descriptions, having interviews, hiring people who have disabilities and how we can create a work environment that is the most conducive to their growth and most conducive for us as a business to grow and thrive. Making training as accessible as possible was one of the things that SHRM has decided to do so that anyone who wants to be able to change their workplaces for the better can do so. Our free certificate training through SHRM Foundation is a step to really start to change that tide of individuals who were not exposed to disability, who did not have that understanding from childhood on. I think every small business owner should know how to manage people with disabilities. I have an employee right now who was supposed to be here today. I saw that he was just going through some stuff and I said, hey, why don't we pick it up tomorrow? Through recognizing it, he's opened up so much more and when I was going through my stuff, he was there for me. And I think that was, uh, it was something I didn't expect. You take care of your team and they also take care of you because I also have my own disabilities as well, which I didn't realize until I started working with people with disabilities. Think about the disabilities we see and can't see. Think about the people who are just looking for a workplace where they are looked at for their skill set as opposed to being looked at for the disability that people may use to define them. There is a business purpose to this. There's a human purpose to this. And it's critically important that we all leverage our voices for something that is going to impact our economy, our future workforce, and ultimately the lives and livelihoods of everyone.